Hi guys, this is me Gayatri Prakash and welcome to my page. Hello, welcome to my page Lotus Swagadam. So today I would like to discuss with you all about an introduction only in OET writing. In my last video, I have discussed with you all what are the different methods of writing an introduction. So in this video, how to write name of the condition and how to write the purpose as per the recipient of the letter. Because most of the students, they are writing in every letter, whomever, like it could be a dietitian. We are writing this letter to a dietitian, physiotherapist, psychologist, social worker, community nurse, doctor, known case letters. In this, all the cases, we are mostly writing the purpose like continuity of care and management, further care and management, follow up care and management. And we does not know exactly where it will come, where the follow up care and management will come and where the um, where the continuity of care and management will come. And also it is it is better not to write this further care and management, ongoing care and management and uh, continuity of care and management because it is like a kind of olden days that we used to practice like this. But it is time to do some changes in our purpose because purpose is the most weightage part in our OET writing introduction. Okay, and also the students are having doubt in where to write was diagnosed, has been diagnosed, recovering from and suspected to have. So these are the doubts we are having to make an introduction. So here I'm, I'm going to give you a clear, a clear knowledge and idea about how to use and where to use this all those things in our introduction. Okay, so let's move on to that. First of all, I would like to explain to you all how to make an name of the how to write a name of the condition so here we are just writing mr x mr x after that we are putting comma if you start the name of the condition or the purpose with who with the help of who so here we can just write to whom we can write further care and management to whom we can write this further care and management it is better to write when you are addressing this letter to a doctor because what care and treatment that we have done, the further care and treatment can be given by a doctors rather than a nurse. Okay, so it is better to write to a doctor as a purpose, further treatment and management. Further treatment and management will be suitable for the doctors. Also, follow up treatment and management also will be suitable for the doctors. Okay. So where can I write continuity of care and management? So this we can write it to a nurse. So when you are addressing the letter to a nurse or home visit nurse, or it could be a community nurse, and it's, it's very suitable for a nurse when you're writing continuity of care and management or ongoing care and management. This is really suitable to them. And when you are writing to an emergency department, when you're writing to an emergency department, it is better to write urgent assessment and treatment urgent assessment and treatment because emergency department is a uh, it's a department where we are referring the patient urgently to seek a medical attention for their condition isn't it so in that situation instead of writing further care and management continuity of care and management is completely irrelevant so it is it is a wrong purpose so instead of that we can write urgent urgent treatment, urgent assessment, urgent examination and treatment. So these are all suitable when you are writing to an emergency department. For example, when we are writing to the rehabilitation center or palliative center. So for that, how the way we can make an introduction, sorry, the purpose. So here for that, we can make it as rehabilitative care and management. What is that rehabilitation? Basically, most of the letters we are referring the patient to rehabilitation. First, what it is because rehabilitation center, which means half of the recovery made by a patient in the hospital, but the remaining recovery will be continued in the rehabilitation center. So the patient will get a complete recovery. So for example, 100 percentage recovery we need it in any conditions, isn't it? So in that 50 percentage, the patient made it in hospital. The remaining 50 percentage have to be continued in the rehabilitation center and then patient will get a complete recovery before go home. So that's why from the hospital too, we are referring the patient to the rehabilitation center to complete their recovery process. 
so that's why it's a rehabilitation center we are calling it okay so how how we can write this purpose to the rehabilitation center means he or she requests or needs rehabilitative care and management so that will be the suitable uh, suitable purpose for the rehabilitation center when you are writing this letter and if you are writing to the palliative palliative as which means we know that it is where the place the the cancer patient receiving end of life care isn't it so we can write it for he or she needs an end of life care at your facility end of life care at your facility that will be the suitable way or else if you want to make it simplifying this one you can write it also he or she requires hospice care hospice care or else palliative care at your service so rather than that this end of life care it will be the suitable word when we are using it for the palliative center in purpose okay when you are addressing the letter to the palliative center it's a good thing to use it requires a, a end of life care and coming to the point of when you are when you are writing the purpose for the physiotherapist so please don't write any more for the care and management continuity of care ongoing care because it is not at all suitable this is all suitable for the doctors and the nurses but for the physiotherapist we have to specify physiotherapy is the who the person who is helping the person in mobility isn't it so what the way we can write a purpose in this for the physiotherapist we can make a purposes like he or she requires your comprehensive physiotherapy program to enhance the mobility it's a very simple way so for all the physiotherapist it is a very common purpose we can use it he or she requires a comprehensive he or she requires a comprehensive physiotherapy program to enhance or to improve their improve her mobility so this will be the good purpose when we are writing for the physiotherapist at the same time when you are writing for the social worker so please for social worker also don't write continuity of care ongoing care further care follow up care no social worker is a person who is supporting the patients in their social needs for example they will uh, help the patients to arrange the dietitian gp and physiotherapist quit smoking programs and for accommodation and visa purpose so these all will be handled by a social worker so how we can make a purpose so for the social worker it is good to write he or she requires your support service for their social needs for her social needs or for his social needs he or she requires he or she requires your support service for her social needs like that you can make it for the social worker and then coming to the point of the dietitian for dietitian also please avoid continuity for the care and blah 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 so instead of that we can sorry we can write it like this like how he or she needs a, a, a dietary guidelines and the simple recipes he or she needs a dietary guidelines and a simple survey simple recipes from your side so usually dietitians surely will give a dietary guidelines what diet they have to take and how to take at what time they have to take and how much calories they have to take so that is comes under the dietary guidelines and the simple recipes so in which way they can make a recipes so thereby we are requesting the dietitian to give a, a dietary guidelines and a simple recipes to enhance their nutritional intake like that so he or she needs or requires a dietary guidelines and a simple recipes to enhance their nutritional intake that's it so these are like the common purposes that we have to better to by heart it so it is helpful for us to write the letter when we are addressing the letter to a dietitian social worker physiotherapist doctor nurse home visit nurse so for everyone if you have a proper a uh, purpose you will not make a mistakes in our introduction so this is about purpose now coming to the point of where to use when you are writing the name of the condition in the introduction where to use was diagnosed has been diagnosed recovering from recuperating from so where to use this all those things and if the the condition is in question mark and how to make an introduction with that so this is we must to know about it because most of the students are never about the was diagnosed has been diagnosed recovering from so we are just mixing and writing so here i have an explanation so 
where we can write was diagnosed because was diagnosed is the short term uh, disease in the short term disease we can use the was diagnosed for example pneumonia pneumonia which means it's a short term patient will get completely recovery from that pneumonia it's not a long term or it's not a chronic condition so if the patient is suffering with a short term disease and patient can get recovery within the time period which means it is there we can use was diagnosed in the introduction for example pneumonia and also patient can recover from uh, like bronchitis and also patient can recover from uh, like uh, recover from also uh, upper respiratory tract infection so these all are the short term disease when you are writing this short term disease where you can use was diagnosed in our introduction okay and second thing has been diagnosed so where you can use has been diagnosed this can be used in the long term condition for example hypertension diabetes asthma and also uh, renal failure and kidney failure and liver failure and cancer so for this all the conditions it is good to use has been diagnosed because these are not chronic conditions it can be controlled symptoms can be controlled and with the help of your treatment but you can't completely recover from yeah. pneumonia which means it's a short term patient will get completely recovery from that pneumonia it's not a long term or it's not a chronic condition so if the patient is suffering with a short term disease and patient can get recovery within the time period which means it is there we can use was diagnosed in the introduction for example pneumonia and also patient can recover from uh, like bronchitis and also patient can recover from uh, like uh, recover from also uh, upper respiratory tract infection so these all are the short term disease when you are writing this short term disease where you can use was diagnosed in our introduction okay and second thing has been diagnosed so where you can use has been diagnosed this can be used in the long term condition for example hypertension diabetes asthma and also uh, renal failure and kidney failure and liver failure and cancer so for this all the conditions it is good to use has been diagnosed because these are not chronic conditions it can be controlled symptoms can be controlled and with the help of your treatment but you can't completely recover from this conditions isn't it so it can be controlled but you can't recover so in that situation better to write has been diagnosed and third thing where you can use recovering from and recuperating from recovery and recuperating both are same meaning so don't confuse about it so where you can use when you are writing about the name of the surgery for example fracture case so you can write it as like recovering or recuperating from surgical procedure like recovering from the knee fracture and recuperating from the knee fracture and right wrist fracture so these all are the way these all are the, the surgical procedures can be uh, can be written in our introduction with the help of recuperating or recovering from okay and how to write the suspecting case so here we can write it symptoms suggestive of or suspected to have pleurisy symptoms suggestive of pleurisy and suspected to have or else we can write um, the symptoms are consistent of the symptoms are consistent of pleurisy or else who is provisionally diagnosed with the pleurisy who is possibility to have pleurisy so in a different way when the question mark is coming in our condition so we can use it so who is probably to have pleurisy who is possibility to have pleurisy whose symptoms are consistent of pleurisy uh, then we can write whose symptoms suggestive of pleurisy or who is suspected to have pleurisy so this is n number of way we can write a suspected case in our introduction so these all are the main points we have to keep it in our mind while we are writing an introduction i hope i have cleared uh, cleared most of the students doubt where to use was diagnosed where to use have been di has been diagnosed how to write the suspected case and where to use recuperating and recovering and also uh based on the recipient of the letter 
how to write a purpose for the doctors, for the nurse and for the known person and for the dietitian, physiotherapist, rehabilitation center, palliative center and also when you are writing to the social worker. So these all are the different methods of writing purpose rather than writing the same continuity of care um, uh, like uh, ongoing care and further care, follow-up care management. So better stop writing that one. Please choose the best purpose for the each person to whom we are addressing. So that will surely will give us a good mark in our OET writing because introduction is the first and most impressive part in our, in, in our letter. And if you make a good introduction, the person who is evaluating our letter, they will understand, okay, she knows somewhat in this letter. And also the purpose is carrying more weightage mark in our introduction. So please think and write and write it in a different way, not in all the same way like how others are doing. Bring some changes and uniqueness in our introduction, okay, in OET writing. All right. I hope uh, this video uh, will help you all and whomever is preparing for their exam and who have who, who is like who is looking for the classes and uh, I don't have any idea about OET writing I want to join for the classes so they all will uh, like uh, they all will get a good um, idea about this uh, make how to make an introduction and also we are running an online classes so whomever wants to join in our class please call us our number has given in our description we are having beginners batch and also we are having 40 days 60 days 50 days 30 days and a mock batch also crash course also we are running it so whomever wants to join in our class contact us and join to our class immediately okay so until then 